Hey everyone, it's Debbie. I'm going to be making and I'm going to have to block my cats too because they're going to be trying to get over here. <laughs> but anyway, excuse the hair, it's up on top of my head. I'm going to be making stuffed rigatonis. I love stuffed rigatonis. They're a pain in the butt to make. But anyway, I've got some sauce. I don't know if you can see it. There's some sauce in my pan. And I'm going to be stuffing my rigatonis. And, um... With ground beef that I've already... Ground chuck. Which I've already, um... Cooked off, partially. And then I'm going to be lining them up in my pan. And, um, you just basically stick it on a finger. And you get your ground beef and you kind of stuff it in there. And, um, I used to make this all the time. It was one of my son's favorite meals that that I made and they're really good too but you just stuff them in there and line them in your pan and um, but anyway it's kind of an overcast day we didn't get too bad of storms yesterday see there's see there's stuff they're stuffed with the ground beef. And then when you cook them, you you got your meat in every bite. And um, they're a little bit of time consuming. But um, they're fun to make and they're really good. I've already got my meat seasoned and spiced up and, and all that stuff. And it doesn't take too long to make these. It's just, uh, stuffing them takes a few minutes. And, uh, Teddy's on the floor. Well, I shouldn't have said his name. <laughs> because he hears his name, he's probably going to jump up and I'm going to bash him if he does. I should have brought the, um, the squirt bottle in with me. But as long as I have him blocked and he can't jump up, he'll be fine. I hope everybody's having a good day today. I've been catching up on watching. Uh, I watched one live, Growing with Hudson. She had a really nice uh, live today. So I joined in with others on her, um, on her live. And other than that, I've been catching up watching videos. And, uh, because I like to keep up with, with everybody and I enjoy watching the videos. Actually, I enjoy watching the videos more than I do the lives. The lives are fun, but, um, uh, watching the videos and seeing what everybody's doing is funner. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, once I get this pan all lined up, then, um, I'll top it with some more sauce and uh, I'll probably put mozzarella like the last half hour or so. They they normally make in about a, an hour. I put aluminum foil over the top and um, uh, bake it. It's time consuming but I like good, tasty food. I love to eat. I, I guess everybody likes to eat. <laughs> but, um... And these are really good, too. And, um... I haven't had Italian food in a while. I, um... I don't eat that much pasta... And there are certain things that I do eat that I'm not going to subsidize. Uh, meaning, I wouldn't want to have this using, say, like, carrot or spinach pasta. 
which has a totally different taste and texture because um, I like what I like. So, you better get off me. They're trying to climb up my jeans. See, the older cats know that they can jump up on the counter over there by that microwave, but they can't cross the sink. Get down. They can't cross the sink. The younger kittens, of course, they haven't learned that yet. And there's a couple of them that will jump up there and uh, cross that sink and come over here by my Berkey and sneak their head around. And usually by the time they get there, I throw them off because I'm not putting up with that. <laughs> And eventually they'll learn. They just haven't learned it yet. But um, they will. They're young and dumb. You remember how you were when you were younger? I know I can speak for myself. I learned a hard, hard way with everything because I was young and dumb and you couldn't tell me nothing. And uh, of course you never listened to mom and dad. You did your own thing, and you suffered the consequences for it for the most part. And, uh, but, um, you still did it because that's how we learn. So, with mistakes comes wisdom eventually. Some of us never get it. <laughs> I was pretty hard headed myself, but, um, you know, you eventually get it. You get it. So I'm making headway here. I've got quite a few rolled already. And here comes Teddy. And uh, I'm going to wash my hands. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get, get, get. And you too, get down. Got to chase them and fight them off and step on the other ones. <laughs> but here you can see they're all lined up in there. They're sliding down in the sauce. But I've got some sauce in the pan and then I'm laying them on there. And I will continue to do these until I get my pan filled. And those should make one sheet because they're not very big, so... I'm just going to keep on going for a minute and then, uh, and try to keep conversating with you. Um, we didn't get too much more storms last night, which was good, but I did watch on Off the Wall Preppers, uh, live that many people down in Alabama and Mississippi were getting hit with storms. Uh, they bypassed us altogether. We're still scheduled for more rain today and um, more storms tonight, I think. I'm not sure. I haven't been on Facebook to see the weather because that's where I get my weather. Cole. And um, uh, so I haven't checked because I don't have TV. I got rid of the idiot box years ago. Um, I don't want it in my house. I don't want anything in my house. It's bad enough I have a phone. But I like my privacy. And um, I'm fixing the... Yeah! He was testing his limits there. And of course... Lacey's down the other end, but she's by the microwave, and Cole's going right back up for a second try. <laughs> Jeez, these cats can never do anything without them being right there. They're like having kids. But like I said, Teddy is the worst one. See, he's sitting there. He's got He's got beat enough where... He's, uh, he's not moving from the microwave, <laughs> which is a good thing. 
because he'll try to climb over the dishes and the drain board and everything. And, uh, you know what? I will be right back. Here we go. The old notorious squirt bottle. That'll keep him in line. <laughs> And then what I'll do is, I probably won't use half of this. Uh, I still got quite a bit of ground. This is only a pound of ground beef. And, um... <laughs> See what I have to go through? Cats. I love them now. This is going to be so good. I can't wait. And uh, this will be my pasta for the month. Because <laughs> I won't, I don't eat a whole lot. Like I said, everything in moderation. But you still want to have the things you grew up eating. And that tastes good. So... Here goes Teddy again. I can see him out of my peripheral vision. I'll be standing right there. Well, I'm five deep now. <laughs> but these, like I said, when they cook up, I use the, um, the chuck. Because the chuck doesn't bring so much grease. And, um... And like I said, if you're just looking or whatever, I don't, I don't remember if I showed you. There it is, stuffed. See? Stuffed. And, um... And, uh... Then I put, I'll put sauce over that later, layer. And, um... You can see them down there. I can't see. I'm too far away. There's Teddy. <laughs> see how good that works? Water bottle is a cat's, a cat rescuer's best thing to have. But anyway, go ahead and make you some of these. It's rigatoni noodles. You cook them so that they're still al dente. And, um, but yet pliable where you can use them and they don't break. And, um, and then you stuff them with meat. I've got my meat all seasoned with some breadcrumbs and egg and and all that. And uh, I don't know. I'm looking at that. I'm looking at my ground beef. I might start on a second layer, uh, which will be fine because there's quite a bit of pasta here. And the good thing about it is, is even if one or two are broke a little bit, you can still use the pasta. I just lightly uh, stick the pot, uh, the meat in the side that's broken, and then kind of hold it together while I stuff it in the good end. So they still get nice and filled with the meat. And since it's chuck, it doesn't shrink too much. So, um... I used to make this as a holiday meal because this is like one of those things like pierogies. 
I love making pierogies, but pierogies take like a whole day long to make. And, um, but it's one of those favorite things that you do like on the holidays. But I've been dying for some really good pasta. And uh, I said, you know what? I'm going to buy me some rigatoni noodles and I'm going to make stuffed rigatoni so I can take a picture of it and send it to my son and make him jealous because he cooks up a storm. He does a lot of smoking and he always posts the pictures just to tease his mother. <laughs> so I'm going to tease him with stuffed rigatonis and he's just going to die a thousand deaths wishing that he was here to, to have some. That's what we do. We tease each other on Facebook. Some of these uh, pastas are a little shorter than the others and some are a little longer because my row is a little off there. Well, I guess it is. Because some are short and some are longer. But see, it worked out perfect. I'm about halfway down the pan already, so I'm definitely going to have a second layer. And I still have plenty of ground beef left. And if there's too terribly too much, uh, or I didn't say that right, if there's too much, I'll probably make some some meatballs. Mmm. And, uh, Annie, um, that'll be good with the rest over, um, meat. The meat smells good, too. I got some chopped, fine chopped onions in it, and panko breadcrumbs. And uh, garlic. I put garlic in everything. Garlic's good for the heart. And um, some good spices, oregano and basil. And of course, I don't know. I've, I've said it before in other videos. I get all my spices from the Oregon Spice Company. They're nice organic spices and um, but hopefully this year when I do my spices I never grew spices before and I grew them and then I had read somewhere that once they bolt then they lose their flavor so I pulled them and threw them in the garbage and then my friend said to me why did you do that you could have dried them and I was like, oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know because I never grew spices before. I grew veggies and and uh, potatoes and sweet potatoes and all kinds of veggies and stuff, but I never did spices. That was the first time. And they grew really good, too. So I could have really saved them had I known, but I didn't know. So now this year... When I grow spices, I'll definitely be drawing them and having my own spices without having to order them. But anyway, lesson learned. But I'm going to call this video finished for now. And just know that this is my homemade sauce that I had frozen in the freezer and I defrosted it and um, I canned a bunch but I froze some too but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this pan and pop it in the oven and thanks for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, I guess I will see you on YouTube somewhere either in comments or on the live. I know um, quite a few people are going live for New Year's and um, Homer for one and I already promised him I'd be there so 
uh, I'll see you out and about. <laughs> okay? You take care. God bless, and thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.